Welcome back to my channel, Divine Timeless Cosmic Tarot. If this is your first time coming across the platform, welcome. Come on in. I'm so glad to see you. I am here. You are there. But together we are on this particular channel. By way of this platform, make yourself comfortable. Bring your higher self. Stand up or sit down. Lay down. Take a cleansing bath. Maybe you'll get into a little bit of tarot ASMR and fall asleep listening to some really good tarot. Whatever you decide to do, support yourself in the energy. As I'm supporting myself in the energy, and if I'm supporting myself in the energy, I support you in the energy that you decide to come in with, be it good, bad, or indifferent, because the universe is fair. Come on in. Let's just, uh, you know, see what spirit has to say. If you're returning back to the platform, mmm. Are y'all catching the synchronicities? Are you out there being about your father's work? Are you catching the signs and the symbols? Baby, come on in and let's be friends, family, soul, tribe. I love you so very much. Listen. Soul tribe. Soul tribe. Every time I think about my soul tribe, I'm so glad that I found the people that resonate with my soul, that understand my story without me having to explain it because you and I are no different. You are a beautiful reflection of me. You took your pain. I took my pain and turned it into power. You took your trauma and now you're certified to help other people make it through the dark night of the soul, baby. Something about you using your magical gifts. Is it a coincidence that this card is at the bottom of the deck or is this the top of the deck? Depending on how you flip it and spin it, it's all about perception. What are you perceiving? What are you seeing? Let's just see what the universe has to say as I open this door. I do it with so much respect and gratitude for all of the spiritual practitioners, teachers, leaders, gurus, Reiki healers, divine ancestors, earth angels that came before all of us to pave the way to whom all homage is due. We don't worship our ancestors. We pay homage to them. We pay homage to the ancestors because we appreciate the sacrifices that were made in order for me, you, to sit in your seat, walk in your walk, wear those shoes, and go on your journey. Baby, the sacrifices were great. What does that mean though to us? That means let's not take this lightly. Life is but a dream. We're just passing through. And as my beautiful grandmother says all the time, God bless her in the spirit realm. She's like, we didn't come to stay. We're just passing through. So take some pressure off yourself. Do your best. So shall it be. I call upon transparency by way of the age of Aquarius truth and clarity, that whatever is going to come out right now, that we have peace that surpasses all understanding. I call upon all the angels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Ariel, Archangel Raphael for healing. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for the healing. Continued healing, right? Because a lot of what happened to us, y'all, some of the, some of this stuff is still being unraveled. You know, we're still pulling back the layers. You're like, what? So you mean to tell me my uncle is really not my uncle? And that's not my auntie's father. So you mean to tell, like, it's shit going on in the bloodline. And I'm only using that as an example. That could very well resonate with somebody, though, to be quite honest. Nevertheless, 
So shall it be, as shame we can, so we shall and we will call upon the truth, child. In the water, wait in the water, children, wait in the water. God is coming to bless the waters. Listen, that was an old song stuck in a rut who is out here stuck in a rut honey karmic is on that butt ass is grass and it's getting mowed by the universe who's stuck in a rut somebody's in denial of what they've done okay whoever this person was they were fully undeniably possessed with something that was just passing through just as I said, how we just pass it through life, something passed through this person's vessel, possessed them for a certain amount of time, did its nasty work, and now somebody's having to pay the consequences. So, so whoever this person is, they're asking for some type of spiritual justice and judgment in spiritual court because somebody doesn't remember what they did. In denial about what they did, lost, possessed, spirit hack. So a spirit hacked this person's vessel, Ooh, child, listen. Mm -mm -mm. Full possession. And now the spirit is, uh, clarify stuck in a rut. Somebody's in denial, though. How did you get connected? Yeah. How did you get connected to the spirit? Somebody picked up some type of spirit entity attachment. They're trying to move forward. They need help. So whoever this person is, okay, they're coming out of some form of a deep sleep. Something very similar to the dark night of the soul I just heard. Y'all at the bottom of the deck is death. Somebody could have been playing around. I just heard necromancy. Yeah, somebody could have been playing around with some spirits that they knew nothing about. And whatever this is, this spirit took over somebody's body. Damn. Damn. Somebody's stuck in a rut, trying to move forward. They're lost, they need help. So that means that this entity probably is not wanting to leave them. Once this uh, person got possessed by this spirit, see, this spirit is like, we together, we together, together. I'm not leaving, okay, Tower of the Energy. And that's unfortunate because somebody needs somebody to help them with this spirit. Yeah, this is intense. Wow. Holy Spirit, beautiful angels. <clears throat> This person could have a difficult speaking. I'm getting like something about getting their words out, asking for help. Somebody's suffering in silence, right? With the entity attachments. That's so unfortunate. I just heard paranormal activity. Damn. Holy Spirit, please put a shield of protection around me as I channel this energy. Uh, yeah, just protect me, angels. North, south, east, and west. Protect my crown. As I channel this and as I stay grounded and well-rounded in between realms, in between the 5D and above, three of pentacles, somebody needs some help. They could be reaching out for help. Somebody could find it difficult to ask for help. Somebody could be so confused that they don't know really what's happening to them. Clarify stuck in a rut, trying to move forward in denial about what they did. Ooh, page of wands. Somebody's trying to get some type of information on how to get rid of the spirit. Clarify spirit hat. What happened here? Queen of Wands could be significant. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Three of Pentacles is Earth Energy. Page of Wands is Fire Energy. Trying to move forward and get help. Who is this person? Show us what's going on, spirit. The devil. Somebody's bound to the devil. I cannot make this shit up. This is an entity attachment. Somebody could have acquired this by way of uh, being with somebody that has something attached to them. Clarify the Three of Pentacles and everybody involved. Who's this Queen of Wands and why are they significant? Somebody feels lost. Who is this Queen of Wands and why are they significant? Bound to the devil. Yeah, somebody's bound to a witch that won't let them go. Four of Pentacles. This person keeps putting the entity back on this person. Clarify, trying to move forward. Somebody's trying to get away from this person. King of Wands to the Queen of Wands. This could be one person. Okay. Fire sign energy. Yeah, somebody's stuck in a rut. Somebody did some type of magic or conjure with the magician, and somebody knew nothing about this. Somebody was playing in something that they knew nothing about. 
Clarify in denial. Why is this Queen of Wands, King of Wands significant? Is this a couple? Yeah, somebody tried to break up with somebody and this person's like, you're not leaving me. Whatever this is, somebody has somebody bound. If it's not this King of Wands, it's this Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands with the devil is giving witch vibes and the King of Wands with the devil is giving warlock vibes. Who has who bound? Somebody's bound to somebody. Spirit says she has him bound. Okay, clarify. You got the three to the four of pentacles. Child, somebody is trying to get help. They Like, this is the thing. Whatever this is, what I'm seeing, somebody's in and out. Okay? It comes and it goes. The sun. It's like they're getting little bits and pieces of an awakening. So they know that something is wrong. There's a monitoring spirit attached to them. Some type of entity uh, that keeps an eye on them so they can't get too far. Clarify this witch. Show me this witch. So whatever somebody did to you, they're saying they were possessed. Yeah, the moon. Somebody did some type of moon magic. So if this king of wands did something to you, this could have been a soulmate for wands, Aries energy. Uh, if they did something, they're saying they don't remember. They really do not remember. Something possessed this person. Two of, two of wands. They're trying to make a decision about something. But they're bound to somebody with the devil. They're bound to somebody. Somebody could have did some type of I don't know what this is. Uh, there's an entity attached to this person. Page of Swords is like monitoring spirits. Somebody's watching somebody and somebody's getting information. Okay, this person could just finally be realizing that something is wrong. Like noticing when they're in the presence of somebody and when they're not. Three of Swords, there was some type of separation and breakup. And somebody was like, you're not going anywhere. Uh, what is the Three of Swords and the King of Wands? The Fool, somebody's trying to go towards somebody else. Or they're just simply trying to get the hell away. Damn. The fool. Clarify the fool. Whatever this person did to you, they don't remember. You can have a conversation with this person right now and be like, no, remember when you were saying this and this and this in your sleep? They don't remember. Ace of Cups. They're praying. They want divine intervention. Damn. And reconciliation with an empress. I can't make it up. I'm being guided to take the empress. Somebody sees a victory with you. Somebody is finally waking up from some type of spell. Ten of Wands is something that they could have done. But again, what I think scares this person the most, clarify, they don't remember. Somebody does not remember what they did. Somebody does not remember what they did. The Hierophant and the Reverse, or they just don't want to admit it. Clarify the Hierophant and the Reverse. Queen of Swords. There's a witch here. Queen of Swords and the Hierophant in the Reverse. There, there's a witch here, honey. Mm -hmm. Somebody could be somebody could be born in May. Don't necessarily have to be, but just the Hierophant is Taurus energy. Queen of Swords is Air energy. Gemini, I'm just saying. And the Empress, I don't know. But whatever this is, okay, let's just read the energy. If it's not a Queen of Swords, it's somebody that's good at what they do by way of binding somebody. So there's big attraction here between two people. Very lustful energy with the devil, but that's all it was. A lust, a lustful energy, okay? Nothing real. Over here with the Ace of Cups and the Fool, this is divine. Like, I don't even know if this person ever even had sex with this Empress, but something about them doing something while under possession. What did they do to this Empress? But they're stuck in a rut. Ciao. Somebody could have tried to take your gifts or the spirit that was attached to them tried to take the gifts or your gifts or something or unalive you. This could have been like a destiny swap type of an energy, but somebody was working through this person. This person definitely has some type of a witch handler or a warlock handler. Somebody was pulling the puppet string. Somebody was controlling this deity that was possessing this person. With the Ten of Pentacles in death, somebody tried to unalive you for your gifts. Or destiny swap is what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. This is a destiny swap. Unalive you basically and consume your gifts. Consume your soul. Somebody was possessed though. Clarify. Who's this queen of wands and this queen of swords? Ooh, child, this shit backfired. It could be two witches involved. Whatever it is, this is this is horrible. Damn, somebody did this to a star seed child. A divine being, a star. Somebody wanted your destiny and they were using somebody to get close to you to get it. Yeah, to a, to a wand so that you could, so that they could get your destiny. Clarify this king of wands. Why is this person stuck in the rut? 
because they get it to their soulmate. I cannot make this up. Mm -mm -mm. Four of Wands, child. How did this person get mixed up with these people? Clarify the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands. This person wasn't aware. Yeah. This person wants justice. They're in spiritual court asking for justice and judgment because somebody's saying, I don't remember what I did. Nine of Pentacles. Solo Dolo. Single as a Pringle. Virgo energy. Somebody's finding out the truth. Somebody was slow to wake up. Nine of Pentacles is the slowest moving energy in the tarot. Listen, somebody was so slow to wake up. Somebody was slow to awaken to what actually happened. Somebody could have been putting things together slowly with the sun and the page of swords. It's like somebody gathering information. Now they're coming to some type of full understanding that they were under some form of a possession. Damn. I just heard they kept putting this person back to sleep. This person couldn't see you. Wow. Clarify what's going on stuck in a rut. This person is really losing it because the karma could be coming back on them. What was their part in it though? Were they, what did they do? I don't know. Somebody is way down. Queen of Cups energy. Somebody sees you as caring, loving, and kind. Somebody did this to a sweetheart. Somebody very nice, very loving, very caring, very kind, very, you know, nurturing. Who is this uh, Queen of Swords in the Tower? The Hierophant? Who are these two wicked witches? Who are these two wicked witches? The Emperor. Somebody knew this was your person. Somebody knew this was your person. Somebody knew that this was a twin soulmate dynamic. The Emperor to the Empress. Somebody knew. This person is trying to move forward, but they're lost. I feel like somebody lost a big chunk of time. You know, it's like they wake up and they're like, what? It's 2024. Like, what? And they're, but they're going back in hindsight, you know? It's like a mind hack. You know, their mind has been hacked. Maybe going back to, to you know, yeah, look, traveling. Time has gone on. The chariot, you've already moved forward. But somebody could be going back to like 2010 or 2006. And they're remembering and they're reliving the reality of what they did. Because they're getting bits and pieces of it, but mostly they don't remember what they did. Somebody was totally unconscious when they were doing something, trying to take their gifts. Yeah, look, three of wands, foresight. The chariot and the three of wands is about moving forward. Three of cups. Third party situation, the third party situation where these two witches involved. Nine of cups, somebody wanted this person. Somebody wanted somebody's emperor. So they did witchcraft to get this person, period. Now it's a tower. Some shit then backfired. Something's attached to either this person that did this or this person or this guy. Who's this queen of wands? Somebody that was in silent competition for your emperor. And they went to a queen of swords, Hierophant in the reverse, to get them to bind them to them so that they could get your gifts. Somebody wanted to siphon your divine feminine power through your twin, through your soulmate, and keep him asleep. Possessed with a demonic force. I cannot make this up. Entity attachment. Something was controlling this man so that he couldn't see you. Where are the five of wands? Yeah, somebody didn't want this to be over. Whoever this queen of wands is, she didn't want this king of wands to go anywhere. So she could have done something to make this person feel like he was her person. Or there's a lot of magic here. It's very heavy too. Clarify this queen of wands and this queen of swords. The tower's in the reverse, though. Yeah, two of cups. These are friends. This is a partnership. This person could have petitioned uh, some type of deity or conjured up something. But this, this two of cups, this queen of wands and this um, queen of uh, swords, Hierophant in the reverse, collaborated together to make this the two of cups. To make this person her two of cups. Clarify five of wands and the two of cups. Yeah. Somebody felt like they won. Like, yeah, I got your man. He's right here. He's with me. He loves me. But there's witchcraft involved. Big witchcraft. Clarify this king of wands. Two of wands to keep him in confusion. Is this my person? No, that's my person. Okay, this is not my person. Okay, I don't know. Somebody was constantly in this, you know, I need to make a decision, state of mind. 
slow moving energy, nine of pentacles, and they lost track of time. And somebody moved forward with the chariot and the three of wands. And if somebody's the queen of cups and this empress, this divine feminine, she moved on. Time has gone by. For what appears to be a short amount of time for this person, this masculine, is a long time. That's what magic and witchcraft does. It delays you. It makes you lose track of time. Oh, trust me, I've seen it. I've seen it happen to a whole bunch of people. I got tons of stories where I could tell you people lost track of time. And they'll look up and they'll be like, yo, I've been here with you for two years. And for them, it, it seemed like a month or two months. That's how witchcraft works. It makes you delay. It makes you lose track of time. Somebody lost track of time. Nine of Pentacles. It's like they lost nine years, ten years, five years, bro. Two of Wands. It kept them in this, you know, riding the fence energy. Uh, constantly indecisive about who you were, who she was. But staying with this person. Like, this person is thinking like, I don't even know why I was staying with you. Yeah, look. Somebody does not even know what the hell they were doing. Eight of Swords. Somebody's like, why am I here? Why do I keep coming back to you? I don't even want to be with you. Whew, hence the fact this person woke up. Eight of Swords. Whoever this feminine is, she felt like, well, eventually he'll wake up. But in the meantime, he's going to be fighting this entity attached to him. And somebody doesn't even remember a lot of what happened. But now they're remembering. But they're in denial about their part in something. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. There still is a third party situation, but I feel like the third party situation is two witches who collaborated, who were friends that came in between the divine union because of your gifts. They wanted your abundance. They wanted your gifts. Clarify. Eight of swords. Yeah, this person wanted this person to wipe her up. He could have wiped this person up. Queen of Pentacles. Somebody wanted the abundance though. Queen of Pentacles is very abundant. This is a union though. This is like two people sharing in some type of a soul contract where they're supposed to reap some type of 10 of pentacles energy and somebody wanted it. So somebody's like, I'm just gonna take it. I'm just gonna make this person my person. Clarify, yeah, the star, look, I can't make this up. Somebody compromised their star position, their 10 of pentacles to go be with a karmic without knowing though. So this person is crying out. For judgment clarify this king of wands yeah this person made a bad decision look this person's on the fence knight of pentacles made a bad decision to the wrong person wow the star in the reverse damn clarify it's a cup. Somebody's going through some type of nostalgia. They're, they're remembering what happened. Clarify stuck in a rut. They need help. But there's a tower for whoever this Queen of Swords is and this Queen of Wands that collaborated together. Look. Somebody could have fire and earth in their chart. This was a victory for this person. Wherever this person is, they saw this as a victory. They win, they won, they get this abundance, they get, you know, whatever this person uh, had in his spiritual contract, somebody wanted to destiny swap by way of them being the leading lady. Ten of Swords, this is a huge betrayal, huge betrayal. Because with the Three of Cups and the Two of Cups, this King of Wands and this Queen of Wands could have had mutual friends. So people knew what was going on. Let's clarify this tower in the reverse. For these two witches. What happened here? Yeah, sneaky and deceptive. I can't make it up. This fell right on top of the six of wands. Willing to do anything to win. No matter what the circumstances, no matter what the repercussions, somebody was desperate for this soul contract. And for a moment, this could have appeared to have been this person's person. Like something could have appeared to have been right because somebody went and made an offer but it's like they they came out like this like i don't even know why i'm offering you this i don't even know why i'm here with you why am i here with you because somebody had bound this person to this person eight of swords this person could have never have gotten away three of swords what's the current energy somebody's trying to get away somebody's trying to get away 
You could have this person blocked or they could have this other person blocked or somebody is blocked with the eight of wands in the reverse or something's not moving forward, but something's walking away or somebody. <laughs> I said something, hell, it could be the entity. I don't know, like, are you walking towards somebody with this entity still attached to you, ma'am, sir, or whatever this is? Listen, because the eight of wands in the reverse, somebody wants to communicate with you, but it's like they're being blocked. The universe is blocking it, or you could have this person blocked, or you just, you moved on. Time has gone by. Somebody is like, no, that happened last year. They're like, no, that happened in 2006. That's how heavy this magic is. Eight of Cups, they're walking away, though. Whatever the case, entity or not, somebody's ass is walking away. Whoever this other woman is, they're saying no. So they could be still doing magic over this man to try to make him stay? Yeah. This is why that Knight of Pentacles came out sideways. Somebody's still doing some type of delusional, illusional. Child, listen, once you get that first epiphany and the sun with something being illuminated and the lights come on, that is your sign to get into the Eight of Cups and ease on down that yellow brick road, the dark road. I don't give a damn, but trust me, this is the type of situation that never ends well. Look, toil and labor. Somebody's still working this person, still doing some type of spiritual work. Over this person with the seven of cups. Child, I can't make it up. Knight of Wands energy, lustful energy, trying to keep this person in this lustful energy. So somebody could be doing sex magic to keep them bound. And this person is like, I don't even know why I keep coming back to you. I don't even know why I'm sleeping with you. <laughs> Look, this is how this person feels, bound. Like they're having sex, but out of their body. No, boo. This person's having sex with an entity. Whatever's possessing you, body hacking you, mind hacking you is sleeping with this witch. She's just using your physical body. And that's real. But somebody's aware. It's like they're in the background of their body. or So whatever they did to you, what did they do to you uh, outside of death and it's in the physical? Child, I don't know. But they want a new beginning. There's some type of divine intervention here. You could have walked away, Empress, from this man. Yeah, the hermit. You're minding your own business. Virgo energy, you're minding your own business. You're staying to yourself. Whatever this is, you could have gone away to heal. Child, stuck in the rut. What is going on here? Temperance, somebody is praying, honey. You pulled back, though. Whoever you are, Divine Feminine, you pulled back. You could have prayed about this, okay? You could have realized that something was going on. With Temperance, you're an earth angel. Yeah, I can't make this up. You knew that you were supposed to have something with this person, some type of spiritual contract, some type of wheel of fortune, and you could have tried to wake this person up within a certain amount of time, and this person refused because, look, temperance in the hermit. Whoever you are, you have great intuition. You went within. You felt something was off. This was a soul contract, four of wands, and somebody broke it apart with witchcraft. Seven of cups, they still doing magic over this person. This person is in denial. They don't even know. They're in and out. They're up and down. Whatever it is, they feel like something happened, but they don't know. But then Ten of Wands, now they feel bound. Whoever this person is, they keep they, they might be guilty in this person. Page of Cups. You know, they could be playing on this person's emotions or, or trying to make this person feel like, no, but you're my person. You're my soulmate. Whatever it is, somebody's landed on thick, honey, and possibly spreading it wide pointing their toes to the stars because there's sex magic going on here with the devil and the knight of wands and the four of swords child somebody is like literally every time this person thinks to leave somebody goes to do something with this spirit and they end up having sex and this person is like why am i having sex with you four of swords in the middle of the deck and it puts this person out depletion somebody's controlling somebody with sex damn Damn, damn, damn. Eight of Cups. This person could be like, I don't give a damn. I don't want no ass. I don't want no head. I don't want no... <laughs> like, somebody is like, I'm done. No, I done woke up too many times with this demon jumping in and off of me. Listen, child, don't let the sun go down. Yeah, look, whatever this is, it's backfired. So if the Eight of Pentacles is in the reverse, that means that this person could very well be obsessed with this masculine. Yeah, he going king of swords on that ass. But whatever this is, it, it has worn off, honey. Somebody's trying to move forward. They're trying to get help. They don't know how to explain. Somebody's embarrassed. Somebody doesn't know how to go and ask for help. Like, hey, I think uh, there was a spirit that was on me, an entity attachment. Something could be following me without people thinking that they're crazy. Seven of Cups. Like they're under some type of illusion, delusional. 
But really, in reality, this is what happened. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, though. King of Swords. This person's in the King of Swords energy, though. They, whatever this is, it's not working no more. And this is why the Tower's in the reverse. Clarify what's going on, Spirit. Yeah, this person is crying out to their ancestors. Somebody is praying. This person could be crying. Five of Cups. They could be depressed. They missed out on their on their spot. The star is in the reverse. Somebody was supposed to have a Ten of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Divine Feminine Energy. Like, whatever this is, they're praying for a new beginning. The Fool, they could be coming towards you. And again, in all reality, somebody's lost track of time. Seven of Wands and the Five of Cups. Like, boo, uh, where are you going? It's been 10 years. Somebody's like, no, I just saw you yesterday. 30, 33. Somebody got in the middle of a divine union. So not only do they have hell to pay by way of karma, you know, whatever this Queen of Wands and this Queen of Swords, oh, they got hell to pay for whatever they did to this masculine. Seven of Wands and the Five of Cups. Somebody doesn't even remember what happened. They're having memory lapses, okay? I'm Seven of Wands is somebody standing their ground. Somebody could be talking to their ancestors, calling on a spirit team. Five of Cups, somebody is depressed and crying out. Whew, Lord, have mercy. They're leaving whatever this is and whoever she is and her demon entity attachment and the Five of Pentacles. I feel like whatever type of entity this is, this person could only get so far and then they would just come back and wouldn't even realize why they're coming back. And it's giving like, you know what this is giving? Like this woman is like, I told you, don't nobody want you but me type of an energy. Like, you know, like I knew you would be back. Like, you know, but you're doing spell work over this person. Child, if you just don't stop putting stuff in people's cups. Listen, mm -mm. I don't eat at everybody's house and I don't drink after everybody. No, you can't make me a drink. You can't make me nothing to eat. Eight of cups, whatever it is, this person is taking their chances because somebody feels like it's, it's, you know, it's torment walking away because they got this monitoring spirit that's got them feeling paranoid, page of swords, watching them, everything they do. This person could even be saying to them, I know you want to go back to your ex or like reading their mind. And this person's like, damn, how do you know everything I'm thinking? Like, damn, spell work. Five of pentacles. This person is leaving this person out in the cold though. Whew, child. In denial about what they did to you. So they don't even know how to approach you because they don't even know how to explain what it was that they did. But you know, the Ace of Swords is there. Look, King of Cups. Somebody's in love. King of Cups to the Queen of Cups. I just heard no matter how much magic they did, it wasn't able, it was like they weren't able to break this man's heart over you. Like, like this person still remembers the love they have. Knight of Cups. Somebody still remembers the love. Mm, I just heard, where is the love? Where is the love? Where is the love that you said was mine? It was mine, oh mine, to the end of time. Where is the love? That's not my note, but you know what I mean. Listen, what's the outcome, spirit? Because this is enough of this, yeah. Something about a new beginning. I feel like whoever you are, you got something new. Clarify Divine Feminine. Yeah, this person wants to come in and make you some type of an offer, but they don't even know where to start. Somebody's got a lot to uncover, a lot to undo. Child, they trying to get some type of help, looking forward. They feel Maybe they feel like you can help them. Yeah, somebody feels like you can help them. They know that they're heavy under some type of magic. This is some big magic too, damn. This is the type of person that, you know, they keep spinning the block, literally, in the car and wonder why they keep ending up at the same house and they don't want to be there, type of magic, damn. Like, my thing is this, why would somebody want somebody bound like that? Why would you want somebody that deep down inside, they don't want you? I don't understand it, because somebody's literally like, their body is just there, but their spirit is not in it. This person is just... Okay. The moon. Playing over their top. Moon magic, sex magic, love spells, delusional spells, all kinds of weird shit going on. 
the, whoever this person is, they understand that the more time that goes by, the less of an opportunity this person could have to come back and explain anything to you. I feel like they don't have a chance at all, but a lot of time has gone by. But the way this person thinks, the way that their mind thinks is they want to let time go by. Like I'm going to take up all his time to where in the end, he'll know that I'm the only one for him. It's almost like breaking somebody down so much so that they don't know, they don't know right from wrong. They're just a doll. They're just a person. They're just a vessel. They're just, yeah, they're just being controlled. I mean, it's nothing else to say as sad as it is. What is this that I got on my hand, y'all? Y'all didn't tell me I had something on my hand. Hold on. What is this? Look, <laughs> I sit here like my OCD kicked in. Okay, so listen. All right. So yeah, seven of cups and the moon. Yeah, somebody's still working this person. Like a full-time job. Two of pentacles. They're trying to balance out this stuff, stuck in a rut. And somehow they want to come help you. Yeah, she's exhausting this person. Just when this person wants to get up and leave, child, he fall asleep. I'm literally... Like, I'm leaving you. This is some bullshit. Like, I'm not attracted to you. What is this? He could look over and be like, I don't want to be here. She goes and she does whatever this magic is, child. You've been there too long. I'm going to say it like somebody told somebody one time that I once knew. And this guy came to me to get a reading. And he had been to four readers and they all told him the same thing. Do you know all of us walked away from him? He ended up bound to this witch. I saw pictures of him maybe like last year, child, his whole soul was gone. I passed him one day at Lowe's when I was going to Lowe's to get something. And he was walking in the parking lot, didn't even recognize me, child, lost. I said, oh, okay. He went to three readers. The first reader identified the entity and the spirit, told him exactly what the entity looked like. He kept saying, I can change her. I could take her to church. I told her, I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. I'm like, listen, you can't change no wicked ass witch fool from New Orleans. She put a rut on your ass. Didn't she tell you that the last husband died? Hello? The last husband died. The last husband was in the store with this mysterious illness, trying to tell somebody that she had done some type of witchcraft over him, okay? And people were like, what is he talking about? Like, what are you talking? You know, that's the first thing. Oh, he crazy, something wrong. No, she killed him, period. And you want to marry her? Child, I remember he came to me to get a reading. The last time I opened the door, my ancestors was like, don't you open that damn door again. She had some of the most demonic ass shit attached to her. That when I opened the door, it took me three days to recover. I said, oh no. I told him, I said, well, can't open the door for you no more. You already know what you want to do. You want to stay with her. I wish you luck. He ended up marrying her stuck. Toe up, messed up. Saw him last time. He had a whole demon attached to him. My son even said to me, oh mom, did you see his face? He was like, he's dying. I said, I know. She snatched his whole soul out of his body. Weirdest shit I ever heard, y'all. I'm telling you, I've heard some stories. And there's more to that story, but I'll put it in the book. That shit got deep. I almost walked away from spirituality after that. I said, you know what? I can't. <laughs> I was like, no, I, this is crazy. I damn near took my cards, got rid of them. It was like, nope, I'm not available. They was like, oh, well, I need a reading. I had people lined up to get readings. And he was a client that would kept giving me money, giving me money. I said, listen, take your money back. You keep going from reader to reader, and we're all telling you the same thing. You're trying to fix something that can't be fixed. But she cried and she begged me to stay. Yeah, that's what a demon does. They cry, baby, you said, that's the devil. What the hell? He went to an older lady who's a light worker. She don't flip no cards. She ain't got no altar. She told him, she said, listen, how long you been over there fixing that lady's floor? He was doing some type of construction work for her. How long you been over there fixing that lady's floor? He said, you know, I don't know. He said, it got to be a couple of months. She said, mm-hmm, you losing track of time. You better get up out that witch's house. And sure enough, child, what was supposed to take two months took six months. After the six months, he was in her house, in her bed. I can't listen. Woo! 
close that door. Listen, I'm just telling y'all not to tell nobody's business. The names will remain nameless in my mind, in my memory, in my soul, in my heart. But baby, I watched a man get his spirit snatched and it kept me up at night. I cried. I said, spirit, why did you send this man to me if he's not going to listen? He was already gone. I could feel the lady pulling his soul out of his body. One day he just drove around in circles. And then he came and wanted a reading and sat on my porch and was paranoid. Oh, that's the police. Do you think they're coming over here? We like, no, they're not coming over here for you. You better get away from that witch. Every time he would get a reading, she would call him. Hey, baby. Because she knew he was getting some type of divine intervention. Child, I saw him last time. I'm going to tell you something. Them stories are for real. Whatever she had attached to her whew, is something I ain't never seen in all my days. That's all I could tell you. And she had the nerve to come and get a reading from me before I knew who she was. I said, oh, okay. <laughs> Let me get the hell away from you and you and shut this door. If y'all want to be together, y'all go ahead and be together. But it's the hardest thing watching somebody get their soul snatched literally up out of their body. It's just so hard because eventually she's going to unalive this man. Last I heard, he was pulled all over, throwing up. Yeah, you keep eating the, the tortilla soup. What you think is in the soup? Well, she got tomatoes and soup. Okay, now that's that New Orleans, Louisiana. Baby, he ain't going nowhere. She doorknobbed you. That's what they used to say when I was a little girl. Child, she didn't doorknobbed him. I was such a, I was so naive. What's doorknob? You know, that's when that man just sit there staring at the door. He want to get up and go, but he just can't go. <laughs> staring at the door. He's just looking at the doorknob. Something in him is saying, get up, turn the doorknob. Get up, go, walk out. And he just never gets up. He's stuck. Ain't no vagina that good. Ain't no twerking that good. Ain't no head that good to suck your soul up out of your body to where you cannot leave. That's not love. That's a soul snatcher. That's a succubus incubus come to take you to hell. And she had been with so many men. And he still didn't care. I said, are you kidding me? Whew, true story. Nevertheless, not my words, just using it for educational, spiritual reasons, purposes. It's meant to trigger you. It's meant to make you aware. It's meant to like, yeah, you make sure before you get in the bed with somebody, consult with your ancestors. Hey, baby, I love you. Tell them, hey, give me three days. Let me talk to my higher self. If they can't give you three days and that ain't your person, well, what you need three days for? Uh, red flag, red flag. <laughs> All I need is okay. All I need to hear from you is okay. Consult with your ancestors. Be real with yourself. Get outside of yourself. Put your desires on the shelf. Okay, you've been by yourself. Maybe you haven't had sex in a while. Put that shit on the back burner because I'm telling you, there's some sex out here that could snatch up your soul. <laughs> I just had to shake up all the monotony. Shout out to the spirit realm. Thank you for allowing me to channel this energy. I am very honored and grateful. I send love and light to this entire situation. I hope this helps somebody. Okay, I really do. Wherever you are, if you don't watch this video, maybe you're picking this up in the ethers. Maybe you're going to have a dream about it or something like that. I don't know. Whatever the case, whatever the circumstance, I send love and light. And I just hope that everybody's ascending to their highest good. It can be easy or it can be hard. Okay, you can get into some nice spiritual lessons and take them and apply your wisdom, right? Hold yourself accountable or the spirit realm is ready to put you into what they like to call some spiritual gangster shit. <laughs> Don't get into the spiritual gangster shit because that spirit realm is not a four of the week. I love y'all. It's 9-11 on the clock and that's the truth. I love you. Drop a heart down below. Show some love. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace be with you.